Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Bacteria Space Exploration. I'm going to give the um, here's what I've been doing previously type videos another get shot because the last uh, for a while took a little bit uh, I didn't get a huge amount done particularly quickly so I wouldn't I don't think it makes particularly good viewing even at sped up type speeds. I have got a bit done though so at the end of the last video I was talking about having found this oil patch up here and so I've now built in the um, the oil derricks to pull that up and uh, feeding it straight into a couple of um, oil refineries here that are very gradually making plastic. It looks like there's a serious shortage of electricity up here as well. And that's because one of the things I've decided to do is have my um, power generation separ separated off between the different areas. So for example up here I've got um, I've got this generator here that runs off coal, but unfortunately there's not very much coming through, and some solar panels just to provide a bit of top up. But this area isn't, if I turn, let's see, let's turn on the uh, electric network, as you can see it's not connected to the main power supplies at all, um, because I thought, well, let's have them, have them completely separate and see how, see how that works. I do have this train here that runs up and down the, uh, the line, delivering coal very fairly gradually, and so when it, it's delivering coal and ammunition, and uh, the idea is that we'll fill up these these chests with ammo, and there'll hopefully at some point be enough coal that'll actually keep the uh, keep the power supply running. I'm also then feeding the coal across here where it's being turned into the plastic. So it, it, the coal's needed for both of those things. And then apart from that, it's got the standard um, normal normal defences running around here. I perhaps should complete that all the way off to the water side over here, but um, well, I, I haven't. <laughs> I've also built up to a, a new coal mine up here, and again we've got the same sort of thing with the, uh, the separate power for this sort of this sort of area. Um, because there's a coal mine here, then we've got oodles and oodles of power. But I am, it looks like it got part way through setting up. Oh no, there is there is a um, there is a water pipe coming from over here. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> I thought I'd just set up set set this up and then not actually plugged it in. But no, no, that's okay. That is um, it is all up and running. And then. I've also, oh yes, I've also got the railway line that links up the um, the oil area to the um, to the main base. It's a bit basic at the moment. It's not a particularly long line, but we've got the loading stations at the bottom here for the ammunition and the um, and the coal to be loaded into the train, and then a loop of track which takes a pretty silly route, I have to admit. But that's because there's a lot of cliffs around here, and I was just trying to avoid them all. And that's yeah, it's 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 working. Eventually, I'll turn this train on and set it going around to pick up the um, to pick up the plastic from up here from the other station. At the moment, I don't know how much is in this. I haven't actually set up the poles and things to check to check that. I should probably set up LTN as well eventually. But eventually, this train will carry the um, the, the, uh, the plastic down here, and I'll put another belt in and carry that down onto the bus so we can start using it. Over here, I've carried on building along here. So I think at the end of the last episode, I I might have been doing the um, the locomotive, these, all the train stuff. I don't remember exactly, but anyway, I've got yeah standard stuff here. Build, building up trains, so we've got the the um, more powerful engines that are being fed in for locomotives, and everything else is just as you'd expect, same as everything else. Uh, similar sort of story here for the oil um, oil derricks, whatever they're called in this game, uh, and pipes as well, because you always need pipes being made by machines, because especially the underground ones, they take forever to build by hand. And then over here we've got the refineries and the and the chemical plants being made because I'm definitely going to need those at some point. I'm, I think I probably oh, powers run out down here up here again. So the uh, it's obviously it must be night time. Um, yes, it's night time. So the solar panels have gone down and apparently all the coal has been used up already. So there's a bit of a problem with that here. I need a better way of getting the coal up there. So the way it's working is that we're loading this train up with ammunition and and with coal. So the coal seems to be full. Um, but ammunition, there's... Actually, let's see if we can just shrink this down a bit. Now... I can't... Oh, yes, I can do that. Yeah, if I do that, then... Oh, there's... i to have to take that out as well. Um, okay, so this will reduce the amount of stuff. Let's take some more of this ammunition as well, actually. Put this up here and... Shorten this to there and at the moment the train is on a timer so it should always end up taking up the a full a full um, wagon of coal every time it every time it runs but the problem is we're just ripping through that incredibly quickly so it's, it's, it's not it's not remotely enough um, I'm not really sure what to do about that and I could put I could make a longer train have more coal being brought over that would perhaps do it we're slightly better off than we were before because this belt hasn't 
eaten up quite as much as it had before. I need faster inserters up here to unload it, so that's one of the big things, I think. Maybe I'll do, yeah, maybe I'll do that next, and that'll, um, that'll sort that problem out. I've also put in, so I, I, I was wondering what to do, and of course with Factorio, when you, whenever you're wondering what to do, the answer, the answer is always look at the next science pack and see what it requires. And the next science pack is the grey ones, which is the military science, which takes the um, piercing magazines, grenades and stone walls. Uh, all of which I'm, I'm capable of making now, so that's going to be my, another um, next next job. Um, but one, one of the things that reminded me of um, pen, uh, piercing ammunition, so I thought I might as well get that under construction as well. And what that has done, actually, is it's taken up rather more of my um, copper production than I was really ready for. So what we've got here is basically a full half belt of the copper ore coming in, and that's all getting turned into copper perfectly well in the in the machines as, as it should. But it's not enough. Um, we're it's not enough for the base, so I'm, I'm going to need to speed this up. Maybe a red belt along here would do it, or perhaps um, another copper thing down here. Although it does look as if the um, I was going to say, yeah, it looks as if the copper's got gummed up in here because there's, there's one piece of iron in here that hasn't found its way through into this, so that's causing causing problems. I'm I have to admit I'm looking forward to the point where I can um, get these sort of um, get away from using these starter mines and find an, another decent. Um, copper mine somewhere else. Uh, I see he says looking around, there's a tiny one there. I want something bigger and better than that. It's like this one, for example. And I can just bring it in by train from there and dump it off and not have to worry about little bits of iron on the on the um, on the copper supply that I need to filter out. So yeah, it'd be nice to get rid of that. But goodness knows when I'll manage that one. <laughs> so yeah, I think that um this is turning out to be a shorter episode than I was expecting. That uh, covers basically what I've been doing. Um, I've got the um, facility up here producing the, these, um, producing the plastic gradually. As you can see, it's got through almost all of that coal that was brought up already. Uh, so I need to work on, let's see, um, the next science pack. So I need to work on military science. It'd be nice to look into this one as well, blue science. Um, that's going to require sulfur engine units, as it says, and advanced circuits. There's a lot of oil stuff in there so I'm going to need to put in some sulfur production up here on the on the um, off, off this petrol bus here petroleum bus um, oh look how slowly those are going that's awful <laughs> uh, yeah so that's a few more things for me to think about for the next episode uh, I'll get on with that I think and um, yeah just say thank you for watching I hope you'll join me next time and uh, yeah, if there's some, anything I've obviously done wrong apart from this horrible train layout uh, do let me know and I'll see what I can do about it <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.